Hi, I'm Randy with Report Master Software. Today we're going to talk about X-ray documentation. Now, if you're going to do X-ray, you really need to make sure that in your reports and your notes that you document it very professionally and in a very thorough fashion, covering all the details. Let me show you what I mean. We're in Report Master Software here. I'm actually going to go into a chart. Here we have a patient. We're going to go to her initial visit. and. We're just going to hit the drop down button here for narrative screens and go down to the x-ray screens right here, okay? And we're just, we're just going to go to the first of the x-ray screens. So here we have the date of the x-ray, what views, here are cervical views, anterior, posterior, lateral, oblique. Uh, what do we have checked off here? For, anterior, for thoracic views, anterior, posterior, upright, uh, lateral, uh, upright, and uh, that's all we have checked off for views. Now, what's ruled out by x-rays? No apparent fractures, no gross osseous pathology, no anomalies, facets normal. If they're all ruled out, you could just put all the above ruled out. Here we have what, what pathology revealed by x-rays. This is slight, moderate, marked, or extreme. Here we have calcino calcinosis, so that slight calcinosis of the abdominal aorta. Here we have moderate spondylosis, and I don't have, uh, let's see, here we also have Number two, moderate degenerative arthritis. Okay, we don't, we don't have anything checked off for osteoporosis. Now, if I hit the next screen, here then we have disc narrowing, uh, osteophytosis, etc. Again, you have a, a little scale here, slight, moderate, marked, or extreme. So here we have moderate disc narrowing at C1 to 2. Here we have, uh, uh, again, moderate subluxa subluxation at C5 to 6. Uh, for retrospondylisthesis here, Again, our, our scale here, 1 is 1 to 25% slippage, 2 is 26 to 50, et cetera. So now we have a 1 to 25% slippage at uh, L5 to S1. And then up here we have osteophytosis. Um, here we have, again, uh, here we have marginal, moderate, progressive, or total collapse. So we have marginal osteophytosis at C3 to 4. There's another uh, element here, which is sites. Now notice this gray button here. If I click it, it shows you these are your uh, osteophyte this is your osteophyte scale, okay? So the way that that P gets in there, I'm going to take it out there. You just click on whatever you need here. Let's say uh, anterior posterior. Mm -hmm. I click it, pops it in there. And then uh, foraminal encroachment, what do we have here? Mar uh, marked uh, foraminal encroachment at C4 to 5. We don't have anything for spinal anesthesis. Now if I go to the next screen, here we have motion study extension and flexion. So here for extension, we have hypermobility, hypomobility, or aberrant movement, uh, which is movement opposite to the gross movement. Same things for uh, uh, flexion. And the only data we put in here is we have marked uh, hypermobility upon extension at C5 to 6. And uh, here for aberrant movement, we have moderate aberrant movement at C2 to 3. Okay? Now, if you've seen our system before, you know that auto codes, which is what you use in this box here, auto codes, you can have anything in the system that you click on. Now, how does this come out in a report? Well, let's take a look at it. I'm actually going to scroll down to the, the x-ray part of this report. And here we have x-ray studies. And this just came straight out of our system from whatever was checked off there. The date of the study, February 4th. The following films were available for review. Here we have cervical. Let me scroll down a little bit here. Uh, cervical and thoracic views. So that's what we checked off. And then we get the text of the actual report. There's no evidence of fracture present, no evidence of gross osseous pathology is apparent. There are no significant anomalies. The facet joints appear normal. There is evidence of slight calcinosis of the abdominal aorta, spinalosis, generalized spinal degeneration marked by stiffness of the vertebral joints is present. Degenerative arthritis is present. This is also known as osteoarthritis, which results from wear and tear and trauma to the joints, usually evolving in middle age and most commonly affecting the elder elderly. There appears to be moderate intervertebral disc, narrow, disc space narrowing at C1 to 2. When the spinal column is viewed as an in integral contiguous structure, the vertebrae present, uh, present with moderate subluxation or misalignment at C5 to 6. Early osteophytosis, in parentheses bony outgrowth or spurring, is noted at the posterior vertebral margin at C3 to 4. There is marked foraminal encroachment narrowing of the vertebral foramen, foramen caused 
causing bony impingement of the, nerve, of the spinal nerves at C4 to 5. There's a mild grade 1 retrospinalisthesis indicating a slight sprain or disruption of the anterior longitudinal spinal ligament involving the vertebrae at L5 to S1. And then as we scroll down a little bit here, uh, we have the motion studies. The relative movements of the vertebrae were evaluated utilizing extension and flexion radiographs. In the extension, there was markedly excessive movement at C5 to C6. Moderately aberrant movement in extension, which was opposite to the gross movement, was noted at C2 to 3. So in just spending a few seconds checking off your findings on those screens, you end up with a pretty, pretty nice little report here or a section on x-ray. Now, this is in a narrative, but you can just as well have it in a note. In our daily notes program, those same screens are available. And there's also a one-page form that covers all three screens, just one page covering all three, so that if you just wanted to check off a form and hand it to, off to an assistant, you could do that as well. All right, so I hope this helped you out. And uh, feel free to call us if you'd like to know more. Our number is 877-742-9215. All right, thank you for watching. Please give us a call today, toll free, at 877-742-9215 for a live demonstration. Thanks.